New Zealand rugby legend Jonah Lomu has died. He was 40. The All Blacks player was considered by many to be rugby's first global superstar. His team's doctor said Lomu's death was unexpected, even though he's battled kidney disease for two decades, including a transplant in 2004. He was awaiting another transplant and undergoing dialysis when he suddenly died. Condolences have poured into New Zealand from around the world. Prime Minister John Key said Lomu had a real affection for the New Zealand people. His proudest and, and um, happiest moments actually were when he pulled on the All Black jersey and uh, just someone that um, knew his heritage and his history well, his specific culture. Lomu's powerful play changed the wing position of rugby forever, despite his relatively short career professionally because of kidney disease. Well, uh, his story is one of never giving up. He almost didn't make the roster for the 95 World Cup tournament. That's right. It would have been a huge mistake for New Zealand. He went on to play very well in the 99 World Cup as well. And all along, like I mentioned, he was his, uh, fighting uh, kidney disease. Right. Well, uh, two lessons from here. Never give up. Keep knocking on that door. And two, never underestimate a determined man. There you go. All right. Thanks, Bruce. I'll see you tomorrow.